Nominations for MIC re-election closed on Sunday, with Para Speaker Dato Sri S. K. Devamani and Deputy Youth and Sports Minister Dato M. Saravanan battling for the number two spot. Party President Dato Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam announced the contest for the Deputy President post, which is the highlight of the party polls on November the 6th. There will be a four-cornered fight for the post of three vice presidents. Dato T. Mohan, Dato S. A. Vignes Warren, Dato V. S. Mugan, and Dato Jaspal Singh will be gunning for the three spots. However, Dato Subramaniam says the nomination of a fifth candidate as Sunta was rejected. According to Section uh, Article 59.3, 59.1, he is. Uh, there is a qualification which says that you have to be a one full term member of the Divisional Congress of the CWC or the State Liaison Committee. We have actually analyzed this in quite detail and we have looked at it at all possible angles. Uh, despite looking at it, we felt that he still falls short of that fulfillment as a result of which uh, we couldn't, although that five years membership, that's one part, he has got it, whereas the one full term, one full term as a member of the Divisional Congress, one full term as a CWC member, or one full term as the State Liaison Committee member, we feel that he has not met that, of that requirement. That's the reason. B. Kamalanathan, Dato Suri S. Valpari, and A. Saktivo are leading 44 candidates in the running for 23 spots in the Central Working Committee. Dato Subramaniam says the party will punish anyone who uses money politics to win the election. The re-election is being held for all party posts after the Registrar of Societies nullified the November 2013 elections due to irregularities and ordered the party to elect new office bearers before the end of October.